Hi, this is Average John coming at you with another video of what I have read this week. Now, I apologize for the lighting right there. I've been moving it all day. Uh, I apologize that it keeps switching between light and dark. But, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do about it right now. I'm gonna keep moving it. The thing that's purple is my cell phone for my notes here. But, excuse me, what I have read this week is Fables, Fables, Volume 8, Wolves. This is made by Predigo, which is a sub-story of DC Comics. Of course, like all the comics, I'm going to say that I love it. You know, like all the other Fable comics. This time, though, I'm glad that they answered a long-standing question, which I will say at the end of the video, put in the comments to avoid spoiling anything, because, you know, people actually like to read stuff before they hear about it, so. But, and before... I get into the story and spoiler zone and all that. Let's talk about the characters, you know, the characters that are important, that were important. Now let's talk about them. First, you got Baby Wolf, that's the former sheriff of Tabletown. Uh, he is also now hiding in the Monday world because the children are at the farm and he's not allowed to go to the farm. And then you got Prince Charming, who's the current mayor of Hableton. He obviously like getting a job, he doesn't like doing it. And then you got Mowgli, who's the Mowgli from the Jungle Book. He is a Fabletown agent. He's out to find Big Wolf to help free his friend back here. And you got Rose Red, who has Snow White's Tenwin sister, and runs the farm. And you got Tepito, who is the adversary. Uh, Pinocchio is his first car son. Now Pinocchio is Tepito's first car son. And a couple of years ago, he ran back with the uh, boy Blue back to Homeland while well, he was dead. And he was in Boy Blue's coat, cloak. And then Boy Blue went back to the Homelands to repair him. Now he's at the homelands. Cinderella has another Ableton spy and she's the owner of the glass slipper, glass slipper shoe store. Snow White, the former deputy mayor of Ableton, is the mother of Big Wee Wolf Seven Cubs. She lives at the farm. And the cubs are big piece of Big Bee Wolves and Snow White's delightful little monsters. And there's the Lost Cub. He's invisible, mysterious. He's sent out to find Big Bee Wolf to learn a thing or two. And you got Mr. North, who is the North Wind. Big Bee Wolf's dad. He's at the farm to visit his grandchildren. And Bakira from the Jungle Book. He took part in the Animal Rebellions and he's waiting for Mowgli to set him free. And waiting for Mowgli to finish his mission so he can be set free. So, that's all the characters, all the important ones anyway. And there's a few more in the book, but they only get like a panel or two. So, but without further ado, this is the spoiler zone, spoiler section that I'm going to get into, so leave the video and come back after you've read the book. And before you leave the video, make sure to like the video, comment if you can on the video, and subscribe to my channel. You know, that really helps. More people do that. More people are so support the more that I can do for this channel. 
hopefully make it better. I don't know how, maybe buy more comics, I don't know. But that'd be cool. But, anyway, on to the story of the spoiler section, you have been warned. So now, in the last book, Mowgli was sent to find Pigby Wolf. He is still looking. And once he finds Pigby Wolf, uh, he will set back here free. So, this whole part is called Wolves, Part 1. Now, he has ended up in Pro. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced things, by the way. But he has ended up in Providenia, Russia. Looking for Big Wolf. He's not there. He was not there. But where did he go? Where did he disappear to? And Mowgli asked everyone around, but they don't know. And then he goes and tries to talk to local wolves because he does speak wolf. And the wolves are just like, oh, you have to challenge someone first. You want to act like a wolf, you gotta be like a wolf. And you have a battle with the leader, of course, the leader's name is Chukar. That's a battle, him in a life or death fight. Mowgli wins and learns that Big Blue Wolf disappeared in a mysterious, untraceable wind. He thinks about this and assumes that Big Blue might have gone to the Bering Sea, to the Alaskan side of the Bering Sea. Now, while this is happening, comes a Big Blue Wolf and Snow White are trained. They want to live in Fable Town, and the only way to do that is if they don't transform or fly for a month straight. They fail, but they're also like six. So, and they can get a little bit of a break. And now we're on to the other part Wolves, part two. Yeah, and Mowgli is still looking for Bigby, but this time he's in Alaska, still fighting wolves, until the pack leader comes out and says that the god of wolves told one of the leaders that they need to take Mowgli in alive. Then he finds Bigby in an isolated cabin, runs out the Bigby Toes isolation, and even has a girl named Sarah. Mowgli talks to him about the secret mission and accepts, drops everything, including Sarah. Now, meanwhile, at the farm, Snow White tells Mr. North to stop telling her cubs that they can shape so and fly when they want to. Also, Colin the pig makes his last appearance, last hallucination, to Snow White. And that starts the book and the chapters. That starts the chapters. Yeah. Chapter one is Secret Agent Man. Kind of like Cody Banks, but yeah. So Mowgli and Prince Charming take Big Wee Wolf to a secret and restricted area of the farm. Nobody's really seen. They so they grew a huge beanstalk that's hidden from the world. How? How's it hidden? Due distraction, of course, dummy. Duh. You know, like how this eyebrow can react to everything. This eyebrow just stays still. <laughs> Man. Yeah. No, big B. Set the climate and go to the top where the Cloud Kingdom is, where all the giants are. And Rose Red is just like, Do you want to tell Snow White anything? He's like, No, if I survive, I'll just tell them myself. And now he's there, 
Now, luckily, he has finished his mission. He got big with wolves. Now he gets set by care of freight. And does so, and back here, it just goes running off. Where is he going to? Who knows? And that ends the chapter, and we go to chapter 2, which is Castle in the Sky. And Big B Wolf climbs the way up the beanstalk and is captain them. He's nervous, though, because wolves aren't ever supposed to be off the ground anytime. So. And he's also afraid to walk on the cloud kingdom. He's like, what if I fall through? Um, because, well, it's clouds, you know, they're thin. They're thin. Oh, you can. No signs here. You just can. Now Cinderella is already uh, out there. And she's going to show him the sights. Uh, and where he will be staying, which is in Worcester Omar's castle. And seats to him reading the documents that he has to memorize. Well, stage one is to find allies in the Cloud Kingdom. Which he has already done. Find allies, find things. So it's kind of explore for a bit. Stage two is insertion. Which is find a place near the target. Which is in... Uh, which is the capital, an imperial capital called Calabra Anagi. And go during the night. And that ends that chapter. And we go to chapter 3, it's behind enemy lines. Where Blakey finds the location, you know, the target, he lands. And he buries his parachute and parachute gear, and that's all the enemy. Know that someone's here. He also plants a beanstalk in a discreet location, which needs 12 hours to be grown. So, we get to the town of Calabri uh, uh, Anagi, Calabri Anagi, wait till night, and start stage two, which is preliminary objectives. Those objectives are to kill everyone quickly and quietly. Now he has his seventh couple with him. Uh, and this ball and Wendy, of course. Make it to the Grove of Mad Trees and deliver some special packages for them. Special and explosive. And stage, stage four is primary objective, which is to sneak into the woodcarver's hut. Woodcarver is Trepetto. If we are killed the blue fairy, uh, who has all sorts of protection spells on our main air, nearly hard to kill or save. Uh, to get Pinocchio back to Fable Town if possible. And, and well, under the control of Geppetto, with the adversary and the woodcutter. Yeah, but we wouldn't want to be caught by him, right? And chapter 3, now we go to chapter 4, which is the Israelnality. And just like, it sounds like I'm blowing through these, it's a pretty short book. I mean, it's pretty short. It's, but don't let that defer you from reading it, deter you from reading it yet. So, in chapter 4 of the Israel Analogy, it, it said that Big B isn't there to kill it, but I'm more like to send him a message. You know, Big B compares himself, uh, themselves to Israel, saying that Israel is a small country surrounded by other bigger countries, yet it's still relevant to this day. Meaning that you can invade and attack Fable Town all you want. But we will find a way to always exist. And he then, an act of defiance, just blows up the magic grove with the C4. And he's just like, yeah, they're all just a bunch of trees, you know. And they'll all grow back, but for now you, you will be stifled. 
Now he then goes to the, where he plans the beanstalk so not to perform for his performance. Stage 5, which is extraction. He climbs down the beanstalk, jumps onto an escape rope, blows the beanstalk up, and climbs down. We get to chapter 5, which is Home is the Hunter. Um, Big B returns and it's that put my tongue. But Big B turns and is congratulated by a small few, including Prince Charming, Beast, and Flycatcher. You get chapter six with restoration. And Big B is spiced with Snow White. And he says that he has a land near the farm where the day and the cubs could live. That was part of the uh, mission thing. If he does the mission, and he gets this land. The land is where the uh, Valley of the Sleeping Giants were before Prince Charming became mayor. Uh, he and Snow White, he and Snow White decided to take a walk through there first. And then you go to chapter 7. It's the Big Valley. And Snow White tells Big B about the specific cave they have to go to. It's filled with all the presents and the letters that the cubs have sent Big B Wolf over the years. And he has to look through them and memorize them all. And Ghost, which is the secret cub who is visible in Wendy, accidentally spills the beans about Sarah. The girl that Bigby was with when he was away. Of course, it's no big deal though. They don't really touch on it. But Bigby proposes to Snow White and she says yes. We go to chapter 8 the wedding. And lots of people come in, and King Cole, who is now the ambassador of Fabletown West, the rest is getting to ordain. Officiate the wedding. Rose Red is, of course, the maid of honor. Big B meets the Cubs. It's a perfect marriage. They go on the honeymoon. Boy Blue and Flycatcher, they all put them house. Built them house. Yeah. Of course, the epilogue Mr. and Mrs. Wolf. They go on their honeymoon to Paris. Everything is looking alright. Happily ever after. The end for that story. But it includes another story. Another one. I think it just ended there. Uh, called Big and Small. It's a little side story. That was what was going on with Cinderella. Cinderella was trying to get a peace treaty signed between Cloud Kingdom and Fabletown. But of course, King Rumpel couldn't sign it because he had a, he, he had an earache, massive earache. So, and one that he couldn't get out of bed for. So, what does Cinderella do? She tries to turn small because everything is going to take like three days to do. She needs to sign now, pronto. So. She goes and does that. Now she meets his uh, witch doctor or whatever. They're still in the medieval century. Now she's like, you know, I can find a better doctor. I don't want King Pinehart to replace him. Because, you know, he is illiterate. No, he couldn't do that. So. Uh, hold on. But he doesn't want, I mean, she doesn't want him to replace her because I mean, he's illiterate. And you know, it's never get signed that that way. So she goes to Fable Down to Frau Totenkinder. She's like, can you make me small? And she's just like, yeah. I have this small potion that you can take. So she takes it. And it 
does make her small, but it transforms her into a rat. And she goes, she's going to small town. She gets stopped by the mouse police. She gets stopped by some pupil, and she's like, you know what? I don't have time for this. I gotta get a doctor and cure him fast so we can sign this peace treaty. So she goes to this doctor in a small town called Robert Smaller. Robert Smallish, Smallish, sorry. And they ride up to the Cloud Kingdom on this bird, this falcon named Arrow. And they go and they go and fix their ear, his earache. And it all gets signed the Peace Treaty. Cinderella transforms back at an inopportune time, but still gets everything done. She then pleads um, with the beast, who is this uh, sheriff of Jamestown. She said, well, she more says than pleads. She's like, okay, I'm not doing any more these political missions anymore. Just straight assassination from now on. The end. And there's also a 48-page script on uh, issue number 50, happily ever after, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm, I'm not, but it's, it's a good story, um, and I'm glad they answered one of my biggest questions, which is, of course, the will they, won't they scenario between Bigby Wolf and Snow White. I'm glad of that. And that's probably maybe over, that's over for that, but not over for the story of Fable Town. That has a long way to go still. And maybe they're planning bigger and better things, like maybe attacking and invading the homelands. Now getting those back, because now they realize they can. Like there's a huge chance they can. So, what do you think? Well, what do you think? You know, what do you like about this story? Now, have you read anything interesting? Our your new wish to you uh, over this past week or when, whenever. Yeah, you can say those in the comments, or you can reach me on any of my socials. And my socials are Instagram at t r i p l three x x x mayhem. Sorry, my, my cat wants to get out, but I I want to finish the video first. But my Instagram's at T-R-I-P-L-3-X-X-X-Mayhem. My Twitter is at Real Average John. My Facebook is at Official Average John. Don't worry if you can't understand me. I have everything down in the description below. Anyway, my cat still wants to get out. I'm going to let her out. So, I'm going to end this video. <laughs> Alright. I will see you all tomorrow.